All right, so now let's talk about the nucleus of an atom. So as I mentioned earlier, the nucleus is the very center of an atom. And here in the very center, you see it uh, makes up the majority of the atom's mass. So what this means is that the protons and the neutrons are a lot bigger than the electrons out here on the outside. And so that's what makes up the mass, right? That electrons are sm so small that you really don't even consider them part of the mass of an atom. And so for the uh, mass of the atom, it all happens here in the very center of the nucleus. Remember that the center, the nucleus, is made up of protons and neutrons. Do not forget that. That is going to be very important throughout the term. Right, so the nucleus makes up most of the mass and it's made up of protons and neutrons. Protons, you see here, these are these blue particles and they're given different colors and different illustrations, but in this one you see it's blue and this is a proton. Remember y'all that protons are positive and the P for proton is the same for positive and remember that, that is your clue that protons are positive. Right, and then uh, the other part of the nucleus is the neutron. This one is also very helpful in the way that it's named. In this case, are the yellow particles here. And it's named a neutron because its charge is neutral. Right, so neutron neutral. Don't forget that because it's going to be very important and it's a very convenient clue to remind you of the charge. Neutron neutral. Proton positive. Right, so remember those. Proton positive, neutron neutral. Then you get here to the electron. Remember I was saying the electrons are the things that are out here on the outside kind of orbiting around. And the electrons are a lot smaller than the protons and neutrons. And so that's why they really don't consider, they aren't considered to have a mass, right? So we're gonna talk about atomic mass in a little bit. And you'll see that we don't even consider the electron as part of the atomic mass because it's so small. And for electrons, this is the one, unfortunately, the name doesn't sound like the charge. Whereas remember protons, positive, neutrons, neutral, this one doesn't really have a, like, it doesn't have a hint. So just remember that electrons are negative, right? Electrons are negative. And so here we have the atomic number. And this is kind of where I was telling you earlier that it's kind of like the address for each atom on the periodic table or the table of elements. Here, this is, uh, the, the number is really just telling you the number of protons in the nucleus. So in this case, oxygen, if you were to go to the table of elements and look up oxygen, and let me just go back really quick because we have it right here. And you see right here, oxygen is eight. This eight is again, like kind of saying the address, but it's really telling you this, these are the number of protons inside of an atom, right? So the atomic number is the number of protons in the nucleus, and it tells us the identity of the element. Again, it's address, right? So at eight on the periodic table, it will always only be oxygen. At seven, it'll only be nitrogen. At six, carbon. At five, boron. At one, hydrogen. That's what an atomic number is, is telling you, right? How many protons it has, but also what the element is going to be.